Hello, my name is Sosa Yvonen. I'm a principal product manager in the Microsoft 365 platform areas. And in this video, we'll have a look on a really cool chart card feature, which is part of the SharePoint Framework 1.19. So it's part of the SharePoint Framework 1.19 first preview, as in the beta zero or beta one, whatever we call that, uh, we're introducing this new card option for Microsoft Viva connection, which will enable you to render visualization or, or graphical visualization of data. Uh, within the Viva Connection dashboard. And in this video, we'll walk through creating one of these cards and also making and showcasing the limitations and capabilities of that card, and also how do we actually use it within the real production uh, dashboard. So let's jump right into it. Cool, let's actually get moving uh, on creating our card uh, design or a card custom card uh, information. And of course, uh, we can easily double check and that we have the right version available uh, within our local machine. So you can see that uh, my SharePoint framework uh, generator is at 1.19 uh, and this is the beta zero. So the first preview version of 1.19, which we're gonna use to create the solution. So we'll have the new card option available. So let me actually clear that one. And let's create a card. Uh, what are we going to call it? Short, short card ace. Uh, doesn't really matter, but let's actually go there. And then let's execute uh, the Yeoman generator, uh, which will probably use the scaffold and create the project uh, for our Viva Connection solution. Or, well, it's a SharePoint framework solution, so you can use that solution cross, it can contain multiple component types cross Microsoft 365. Chart card uh, ace is completely fine as a name type. We kind of select adaptive card extension. And now in here, we can see the new option available, which is the data visualization card template. This is in preview right now, um, and it's planned to go then GA sooner or later. So as part of the 1.19 beta, it goes to preview. We'll take the feedback from you and customers, and then we'll roll it out in production, uh, hopefully that fast, because this is really, really cool. So it's awesome to see how this is evolving. Now, what's your adaptive card extension name? It's called this sales 2024. Doesn't really matter, but for, it's a nice, you know, business case to present the current sales, uh, what's happening. Now, as the scaffolding will take a while, we'll speed up the video on catching up on whenever the scaffolding is completed. Cool. And now as the scaffolding is completed, I'm going to start Visual Studio Code. So we're able to actually showcase what we got from the scaffolding. So as how will the project look like? Let me zoom in a bit. So we can see that it's a normal SharePoint framework solution, which we can use to create solutions and, and capabilities across Microsoft 365 in Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, Viva Connection, or Microsoft Viva in general, or in Microsoft 365 app. And you can you have all of the similar configuration options obviously available. The key kind of a thing what we did here was that we created an adaptive card extension uh, and we modified the card view or selected the card view to be around the chart card or the, the graphical the, in the user interface is a bit different in the selection. Now, the cool thing uh, about the scaffolding is that you will get actually a functioning card, but let's have a look on how this is working. So first of all, uh, we have a series of data and the information is basically in an array. This data could come from any API or any backend system, uh, whatever you're exposing within Microsoft Azure, technically with Azure to on-prem and all of that. All of those scenarios are of course available or you can connect to any external uh, API which is available, for example, for stock information. Now we get the data and then uh, that data is basically a date and a value style. And then uh, we provide that series of data uh, for the series option in here in the body of the actual adaptive card. And then we're able to define the last data point label and something what we don't see here is also uh, we can actually provide a color. So we can easily add here a color option and had a value for the color. And this is basically the style of the, uh, the styling colors of within HTML. So we can either use like red, blue, green options, or we can define obviously hex value for the rendering. So let me define a one example value there. 
Now the cool thing also here is that as said, uh, it's ready to go immediately. So now I can do cop uh, serve no browser uh, and it's going to compile the solution to be available. And we can test it in our online workbench to see how it looked like and how what did we got from the default scaffolding. This doesn't take that long. It's much faster with the Webpack 5, which was introduced in 1.19 as well. So let me then uh, activate uh, the, the example experience. So let me go in my workbench, refresh, so it will catch on the locally hosted uh, experiences and we can see the sales 2024 as a new option, which is under the local section. And there we go. There is our chart cart being rendered. And that's actually pretty cool. You can change that to be a smaller size or this large size and it changes and uh, the rendering logistics and all of that. Pretty cool. So let's actually go to the uh, code. Let's modify this a bit. Um, so because we want to adjust the code um, to showcase really what's possible uh, with the cards. So first of all, uh, I'm going to introduce a bit two more series, uh, which we're going to data series, which we're going to render at the same time. So you can have a maximum of three different series rendered within a card. Let's actually do that. So I'm going to copy uh, some code uh, from other side, so I don't need to rewrite uh, this stuff. So there's a series data number two could be, let's say, a models or whatever you're selling within a company and, and another data point uh, from there. And let's get a series number three. Your company, car company has three different models and you want to have the sales of three different models presented in a single card. Yes, absolutely doable. So now we have series number two and three and one. And then we want to get them uh, presented uh, in here. Now, how we're going to do this is take the series, oh, not the whole series. We're going to take actually this series is an array in JSON, as you can see. So we're going to add a link a comma over there. We are going to add a new uh, new copy of that entry. And as we have three series, we're going to actually render one more. There we go. And then we're going to adjust this a bit. We want to have the second series to render the data based on series data number two and the third series, series data number three. Now, wherever the data is coming from, it could be coming from, let's say, backend system, whatever, uh, or external hosted uh, data as well. So now, let me actually adjust a bit on these settings. Uh, I want to have less data point label as 3.5, 3.1 for the first one, 3.5 for the second one. Is that correct? No, it's not. Actually, the second one is 4.5. Let's actually fix that. So it should be 4.5. And then uh, number three uh, would be later, uh, last data point was 0 0.4. Let me actually get that one there. Is that correct? Yes, it is 0 0.4 is the last data point. Cool. And all of these three have now a different color. So we're kind of a showcasing how we can render the three series in place. Let me actually get the terminal in place. It is compiling. Yeah, everything is could be good. It is reloading. One thing what I actually might want to do also is adjust a bit on the manifest. Uh, and the manifest is the one which is defining what will be shown in the a speaker and, and what is the icons and all of that within there. So I'm going to modify this a bit because the icon what we have right now there is a bit ugly and that, well, ugly and ugly, everything is debatable, highly subjective, and, but that's the Viva connection icon. So I want to have that as a more, more relevant for the functionality of the cart. So let's actually adjust that to be uh, uh, Office Fabric icon name. So let's actually do that. So not an image, we want to do Office Fabric uh, icon font name, and then we're going to say financial is the right one, which I want to use in this case. Um, and then let's see, um, I can't remember, do I need to do a bundle and clean? Let's just in case do this. Because there's at some level versions, previous versions, especially in SPFX, um, there was a, a metadata. Whenever you adjusted the metadata, you need to do a bit more modification on things. Hopefully, by the way, saved. We did save the changes. And now if we do cop uh, serve no browser, and we start again the local uh, HTML, HTTP server to host the ACE in here. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. And let me actually go in here. Let me get rid of the card. Let me refresh. 
So we get the new icon to be available uh, in the web uh, in the A speaker. There we go. That makes much more sense. Uh, it is a chart ace, so we'll have a nice looking uh, icon for it. Let me add that one in here. And voila, it is rendering three different series um, with the three different int numbers as well. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's actually a really nice looking the animation. It's really, really nice. And now in here, you can still adjust this to be a smaller one, something to be aware. If I now click the preview, we can actually see the experience in there. It is actually rendering only one chart. So right now, at least in a beta, a first beta, uh, there's a limitation that when we are in the smaller rendering mode, it will render only the uh, series, first series. But then if you configure the chart uh, or the the card to be uh, presented in a larger mode, it will have a more screen real estate and therefore it will also render uh, it more efficiently. Well, uh, let me go. There we go. Much better. So it needed to refresh on the UX. So it's rendering that more efficiently within a two, two box, two times one box uh, series size, whatever that is, large base card. But that's kind of the idea here. Uh, so um, that's the card, uh, new card chart card experience which we have available and of course using this you can build uh, int much more interesting looking dashboard so you can for example present the monthly sales or stock price whatever you want and you can adjust the colors and uh, obviously the details within the series and wherever you're connecting that uh, ace then it will show the information directly from there that's actually pretty cool it looks really really awesome now we are not going to stop here uh, as part of the 1.19 uh, beta when we are introducing the chart card with stop left corner in this picture uh, but we are also uh, experimenting with other design options um, so we'll probably have next the donut and then the pie but then there's other options being considered uh, as well internally and um, that work has already been started so we're looking into introducing more and more charts and more and more options within these cards as well cool that's all we're going to do actually today in this video uh, so please 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 do give us feedback related on uh, experiences with some part of the sharepoint framework 1.19 what do you think about the charts um, and if there's any options or things what you want to adjust related on this capability please 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 let us uh, know uh, either in the issue list or in the comments within this videos or within the blog post we'll capture all of your input but that's it thank you for the, for this one Thank you.